Howdy. Welcome back for more Imperion. And uh, the struggles with OBS continue. OBS lost the entire last video of exploration and mining. So you didn't really miss much. We mined up some iron. We mined up some, some copper. We mined up some silicon. Quite a bit of it, actually. And we stood around waiting for things to process to be able to build a ship in this episode. So, didn't miss much. And it's not the end of the world, but that's why it's going to feel like you missed an episode because you did and it couldn't be helped. I apologize. That's just the break sometimes. But if you wouldn't mind going down, hitting that like button, regardless of the way this video is starting, I would appreciate it. And uh, why don't you throw on a subscribe too if you want to see more. Anyways, that being said, we're going to get jump right into the video now. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, we're back, and um, I've been slightly bored with too much time. So, yeah, we got lots of stone. Uh, we're going to use that for our next project, and, oh yeah, and uh, I made a bed. So I can take that tent down. But, too much stone, too much time. Uh, I'm not freezing when I walk out here to work with the constructor. Yeah. Yeah, so, and we now have a pathway to walk up. Which I'm not unhappy about. And we have a dock out here that goes all the way across the lake. Well, pond. Couldn't really call it a lake. Now, we're getting ready for another Xerax attack. I'm kind of hoping to get that over with before the less than a day before we uh, start building. I did go away and make a nice set of plans. And right here, this is all of the equipment we're going to need to make our, our small grid ship, uh, our small vessel. Now, it's not going to be like a typical starter vessel and the reason for that is because well on this planet i need to stay warm i need to stay in the warmth and i need a lot of cargo space so this will get us to space it will work in space but it is not a typical cockpit design it is a fully enclosed shuttle with tons of storage and no armor so fingers crossed it'll work um, I figure worst case scenario, we'll have to add more downward thrust to deal with the gravity. Because we're going to have to get into space. Every single deposit here is very small or small. There's none, there's none here that are actually good. I mean, we've got one gold deposit and it is a very small gold deposit. Small, very small. So yeah, it's just, we need to get off planet to get resources. So I'm going to go use the bed and uh, sleep for eight hours. That's what I was hoping for. We'll pick those, uh, the protein once we get back. All right, I'm going to start this up. Right. Now we will go loot everybody. Wrong button. Oh, some sausage and some credits. Credits and ammo. Walked right past this guy. Some medicine, some credits and ammo. I'll take it. All right. So medicine, we've been throwing that over here. Credits, we've been throwing in here, I think. Yep. 
and neat. Wow. 47 food. I'll take it. All right. So, this is the... This is the container we need to be linked to. Obviously, we're going to start with the base. Uh, medium thrusters. And... Some uh, generators, fuel tanks, not going to get to the O2 tanks yet, going to need the vent too, ton of these, um, I don't know if that's enough, I think it's enough but I'm not positive, okay, and and lights we'll need lights we'll need the cockpit sooner rather than later and that's a good amount to start with all right We're just going to flop that down right here. And we don't really need any of these here. And we want to pick up Oh, joy, it's going to do that graphics glitch thing. All right, I'm just going to hope that it fixes itself. Now the vent goes right in front of that. So that vent is forward. And aside from that, it is a whole lot of storage. We have, those are all sloped back there. So let's stick with the straight ones. One, two, three, Four, five, six, and then we're going to come out at a 45. Not going to put the 45 degree block in there yet. Yeah, we got three of those because that's the main hallway. All right, and that's going to bug me, and it's not going to fix itself. So let me drop these last six blocks in. Just to get these in there. This is the main entrance to the hover vessel there. We're going to walk up into it. Alright, so let me just uh, re-log real quick and then we'll continue. Alright, I'm back and I had to run from the cold. I think I'm going to go sleep and make it daytime. Uh, let's pick all of these first real quick because it's important to put that food over here. Kind of need it. Oh, right there. Okay. This will probably trigger a Xerax attack. Is it daytime? No. Alright, now it's daytime. Okay. More food pick. Okay. And my bar is empty now. All right, we're just going to stay here and we're going to hit F5, pull out the drone. Now let's go to our inventory screen and pull stuff down we don't need those yet we're gonna need this and this 
we're going to need small thrusters and medium thrusters. Did it pile all the medium thrusters together? It did. Okay, I don't need all 14, but we'll just grab all 14. We're going to need lights and storage extenders, cockpit. Um, O2 tanks. Let's see. Just grab a storage container. Sorry, a uh, container controller. Okay, so now that we can actually see this thing, let's see what we can do here. Now we need a medium thruster and it's going to just stick out the back here. We're going to use a full block. Going to go right there and right there. No, darn it. Retrieve that block. And we're going to go back to the medium thruster. Can I use symmetry in... There we go. I can use symmetry. That's awesome. That makes me happy. All right. Well, you're in a, we're going to use the symmetry here because it makes life a little bit easier. All right. And right here. I didn't want to do that. This. And that's going to go right here. Now we need a fuel tank. The fuel tank actually stands up right here on both sides. And now we're going to do a storage container extender right here. Which I know that doesn't make sense. It looks like it's removed, but it will. Trust me. And this one has a small thruster sticking out the side there. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. And container extender there. A light's going to go here. I believe like that. Okay. And. Now we're going to do the generator. No more generators to place. Those are where the two generators are going to sit. And that works for me. And now we're going to go back to the medium thrusters. And we have two medium thrusters sitting right here. I know it looks kind of convoluted and ugly. And it's not a pretty vessel by any means. And I believe this one is an outward facing small thruster. Is that actually placing those right? It is. Good. All right. So you can kind of get the gist of where we're going with this now. I'm going to walk in, and that's going to be the main cockpit. So, like I said, it's nothing fancy, but it works. And that's what we care about right now. I'm going to have these here like this. Oh, no, that one is not. That one is a small thruster, I believe. there
and I know it's not pretty, but uh, it works. And I'm happy with that. I want lots of storage space in case you couldn't tell. I know it's kind of a lot, way more than we need, at least in theory it should be. And this is how we're going to tie everything together here. It's all going to get tied together through the middle. And this is actually going to get tied together with um, a line of cargo containers there. And right here, this, this spot right next to this is the two oxygen tanks. And the two more fuel tanks are gonna go right here, right on the back. They're going to flank the door. It's not ideal, but it works. And uh, I want a little bit more fuel on there. And I know right now it just kind of looks like a rowboat. Bear with me. It, it gets a little better. Um, maybe not better enough, but it does get a little better. Right here we are going to want a couple of medium thrusters facing up. And I do believe, nope, we the 45 degree slopes again. Right there. Yeah, right there. That works. All right, and then uh, going to use more cargo container, and that's how all that storage gets tied together there. I know it's overkill for storage. I, I really do. I just don't think that's a bad thing. And uh, we want a little bit of thrust towards the top of the ship so that we can have good roll uh, when we're flying. Because one RCS unit is all we're putting there and. Uh, the thrusters help with that motion. So we've got, oh, you know what? I made a mistake. We actually want to get rid of this one here and this one here. We got two lights here and we're going to use, we're going to use a 45 slope light. I don't want them facing directly forward. I want the ones that fan out. So the light will cone will come out to the side. It should give us enough light going facing directly forward. But if it's not, we can take out that center one there and put a light in. All right. And let's see. You can kind of see where this is going, how this is going to shape up. I'm not putting the cockpit in yet because I want to make sure I get the window in before I do. Because if I misplace the cockpit by one block, I won't be able to get the window in. Because we're going to come up from a 45 degree slope with the window. And uh, so if it's too far forward, it just it stops the window and gets in the way. The container controller is actually going to go, oh, my mouse is wandering again, right in here. And open up F4. We're going to need the refrigerator, the armor locker, the O2 station. I think we're done with the medium thrusters, so we'll put those up there. The RCS all right that looks good for now I think we'll throw the door in real quick too 
All right, so the refrigerator goes on the other side, and if I remember correctly, yes, goes right there. Now, this is not a well-armored ship. It is not intended to be a well-armored ship. Not by any stretch of the imagination. You know, that's only too high. Is that, that one is three high. That was the one I used. And it wound up... If I do too high, then I don't have to worry about it. Three by three by one, one by two by three, one by three by three. I kind of prefer the look of this cockpit, if I'm honest. All right, we'll hold off on the cockpit. I do believe I can use this one, but I want to make sure. Because I, I really don't want to not have room for the window. I could probably focus on the window next, but I'm not going to. All right, and then uh, right over here, we're going to put an RCS unit. And I realize it's off center. And I, I know that's not ideal, but it is what it is. That's just where it's going to be. And I placed that wrong. I'm going to hit one. This is the one I want. Okay. We need an armor locker. And an O2 station. Do you believe that's right? Yes. So we've got an armor locker and an O2 station there. The door is going to go right there. So you can see that's kind of a nice little spot for the door. All right, now we can put the RCS and the and the Bluetooth on there. And Windows. Just grab all these and put them down here too. And the eight. That is the grand total of small blocks we're going to need. The eight that are spawned with the pad. So... I'm happy with that. All right, let's go ahead and we'll put these in first. We're going to grab a couple of two by two shutters. And those are going to go right here. Come on. Oh, it already placed it. That's why. So yeah, we got a couple of two by two shutters there. Those are going to open up and allow us access. Actually, you know what? I'm looking at it, and I think I'm going to change the design slightly. I think we're actually going to put those shutters. We're going to put them uh, same spot, but uh, upside down. So right there. It'll make it easier to access the O2 station and the armor locker. So, much better access to the armor locker there. At least I think it will be. Throw the RCS in. Alright. Oh, you know what? We are not done with the... I did not mean to hit F5. Okay, back out to the building. I meant to hit F4. We need two more of those, and they are going to be, again, with the solid blocks. Put that over here. And they're just going to go in like this. All right, so there's all of our rearward facing thrust. So you can see it's starting to take shape now. Um, starting to see what we're actually going for here. OK. 
Okay, and we're gonna need a solid block there. And I do believe that's all of the solid blocks we're gonna get in here. I wish I could make the uh, mirror plane transparent. Okay. Come over to the side here. We're actually going to have two more of these here. And there's a, there it is. One more like this and like this. And I know it seems like a waste, but we're going to use, I thought there was another block here. There it is. That's what I was looking for right there. All right. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Well, happy ish. And then, um, this one here. Hmm. Right? Yes. Right there. And a couple of 45s. And... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Where are they? Apparently, I'm blind today, so you'll have to bear with me. One like so. Oh, and this one's just a 45 slope here. Yeah, I'm barely happy with that. To varying degrees of happy. Um, all right. Actually, I think we might need more than the eight. I think we're going to need uh, ten. Yeah, I think we need uh, the two or four more. We might need two more. Two to four more of those steel plates there. Not the end of the world, but... One of those things where it's just like, I'm kind of bummed at myself for not noticing sooner. All right, and we're going to just close this off with... And... That goes there. One more solid block. That is the ammo controller, right? Yes. So we got the ammo controller there. All right, and then on top of that, we're going to put a 3x3 three three shutter door. Needs to be just like so. And we're actually going to come in here and we're going to use another block that I, I don't use very often. I, I don't usually see a use for it. but it just seems to work here. Seems to be the only thing that works, if I'm being frank. Um, so now you can see that those two containers don't actually touch each other. So the entire ship is one giant cargo container controlled by the container controller over here. With the exception of this U-shape of storage units up at the top. 
those are nothing but ammo. So it keeps everything separate rather nicely, I think. And yeah, we are going to need four more of these plates. And that's because we're going to put one right here. And an additional this one. Right there. Now when this is up, there's nothing showing. There's no thrusters showing. Uh, it also helps us to keep the temperature down inside the cockpit. I hope. Uh, to be honest, I did not do very good at actually testing the temperatures when we were putting this in place. All right, so 45 degree slope and 45 degree slope. And I'm probably not going to be able to get it to do this and that's not supposed to be a 45 degree slope. Okay, that one is a 45 degree slope. All right, and then this one is a flat one. One by one flat. All right. Now we just do the one by one corners. I'm not really worried about the fact that these are going to be uh, mismatched because I'm just going to turn them around using the transparency. All right, and one more goes there, but not yet. Come on, get in there. Get in your hole. Right there. And one more there. And one more right here. Okay. Then it's going to be the corner window. There we go. And a corner window. Oh, I got to go F4 and bring that one window back down in here. Perfect. Okay. Now we will switch back to the multi-tool. And we'll make sure that all these windows are dark for us. Not that I can really tell. Okay. Almost there. I think that was tinted? No, nope, it wasn't. Like that one's not. All right. That looks
All right, let's go in here and turn off the symmetry. And now it's time to place the cockpit. And I do want the one with the large display. There we go. All right. So now we've got the ship all put together. And if we come in here and we take a look, it's not exactly pretty. Not going to lie. It's, it's actually rather ugly. But, and then my character stays safe from the weather. So I can actually go out and do all my mining and whatnot without freezing to death or getting hailed on. Which is kind of nice. And that's the whole reason why we've got this thing. Now the only problem I have is right here the radiation is high hmm I wonder if I can fix that I don't really want to pull these out but let's try it let's try it here let's try just pulling these out Okay, and we'll go back to here. Try putting those there. No, radiation's still high standing there. Oh well. Radiation's not high standing here on the on the air vent, which is where I will be spending most of my time is right in this area. So I guess it'll do, but uh, I actually do like that a little bit more. It hides the engine, so we're going to do that real quick. We're going to make a quick change here. I think it actually gets us just slightly more storage space, too. And this one. To this I think that's slightly better all right so we're done building the ship and uh, I had to cut it off there because we're already at about 40 minutes and that's way over my target um, and a lot of that has to do with the fact that I had to try and compress what I could salvage into one video because it wasn't enough to make two videos. So I'm going to do a quick uh, showing of what the ship finally turned out to be and the paint job. And, uh, and then this video will be done. All right. So let's get back to it. So I've decided to go with green and we're going to switch to the drone here so I think the green looks okay uh, I tried yellow I was gonna name it the canary paint it yellow but painting it yellow made it look like a giant baby turd so no so I thought about then I, I thought well I'll paint it brown and call it an elephant pile and that just seemed a little bit a little bit too crass um, so it's now called the turtle and uh, let's see, yep, turtle. And uh, we're under attack. So I think it looks pretty good. But uh, we're going to get into fighting position. Oop, if I can get into the cockpit here. We're going to fly. Oh my gosh. Is that two troop transports? Oh, I locked up there for a second. 
Yeah, that's two troop transports. We're going to have to wait for them to set down and drop troops. And we're probably just going to fast forward through this. But as you can see, I did get the game sound fixed. Uh, the reason we're going to just fast forward through it is because um, it just is going to take a lot of time. And I'm not sure that's a time well spent. It's not the best little ship, but as you can see, it's semi-effective. So, uh, I can't really complain too much there. It doesn't have very good braking force. But, uh, it flies. It works. And most importantly, it does have oxygen in space. It can get us to space. It will allow us to go to space and pick up resources. Which we're gonna need. And I should probably turn it off. Yes, it's depressurizing. So yeah, I'm I'm rather happy with it. It turned out pretty good. It's definitely more reliable than this thing. Um, this one got a little bit better when I added some thrusters to it. And put some regular hover engines on there. But uh, it's still not great. But yeah, for the most part, I'm, I'm rather happy with it. I think it turned out pretty good. And in the next episode, we're going to worry about starting a garden for fuel. Yes, a garden for fuel. Uh, there's not a whole lot of fuel resources on this planet. So I'm going to plant a whole lot of fiber and we're going to run on biofuel until I can find a good source of promethium. Uh, yeah, next episode, we're building a garden uh, and maybe a trip to space. Thank you for watching. Remember to hit that like button down there in the corner and uh, hit that subscribe if it's still red. Y'all have a great rest of your day and thank you for watching.